Welcome back savages to another video. In this video I'm going to show you how to make a mount for a Dell monitor. Okay so here's the problem. So with this um, Dell monitor when I bought it it came with its very own stand. Now what I want to do is I don't want to have it on a stand anymore I want it on a mount and I end up buying one of these arms here which is on a visa mount as you can see. Okay so when we take the stand off that's what the adapter looks like like that now when you buy a visa mount like a monitor mount it looks like that now if you look at the back of the monitor there's no way a visa mount will fit in there you need one of them type of adapters now for this particular monitor which is a dell st 2220m monitor uh, this type of adapter is obsolete and you can't buy it and I'm sure it's the same for other Dell monitors which have the same kind of fitting So this is the actual adapter uh, that Dell make for this uh, monitor and it's unavailable I think it's obsolete now anyway, but it fits all those monitors Mentioned in the description there. So we're gonna make our own So what I'm gonna do in this video is I'm gonna show you how to make your very own DIY adapter which will convert from a Dell monitor uh, type of fitting to a standard visa fitting let's go okay so this is the adapter I've made and you can make this from parts you can just get from any DIY or hardware store very cheaply okay so to get the actual shape of the adapter that fits inside the monitor I basically just use these uh, elbow joints and I've got two of them as you can see that's the type I've got and I've just wrapped them over each other and basically I've just put um, a bolt through that end and that end and just something through the middle to join them both together and on the other end that's what it looks like and just basically tied it tightly there so let's see if it fits in the monitor okay so we've got the bit of the adapter which will fit inside the monitor let's see if it fits okay so we just slide it in there and give it a bit of a push and there you go fits perfectly okay so the next bit i've used is basically these other um angled brackets and then these will basically fit to the visa mount and all it is is i put them back to back that way so it gives it a bit more strength and again just put a bolt and a nut through each end so one there one there to hold it together Okay, so basically to connect this to the visa mount, I've just drilled two holes, one there, one there. So the bottom parts of this will line up on here like that. Now, we don't need to do anything on the top holes because we've already got a, a, a circle already cut out of the bracket, which will fit at the top there. So basically, I'm just going to connect this to here and then basically just tighten this up with two bolts and screws just through there as well. Okay, so there we go. We've got the two bolts through there, and this is what it looks like on the other side. I can just quickly show you. So one's there, one's just here as well. If you can just see that there. And the good thing is, where I've done the holes, that actually stops the bracket from coming up because these screws basically stop it from moving. And then obviously in the top, we've got that main bolt through there as well. So overall, that's what it looks like when it's done. Okay, and the last thing you want to do before you uh, try and attempt to put the monitor on is basically make sure you tighten all the bolts because they're quite loose at the moment. So we're going to tighten them all up. And for the top ones, which we didn't put a hole through, I'm just going to put a cable tie that runs all the way around just to give it a bit more strength. Okay, here we go. So we've got the mount just uh, on the table there. And we've got the arm that comes up here. And that's basically our adapter on the end. So I'm just going to put the monitor on the top and let's see if it works. And see if it stands. There you go. Okay, so that's what it looks like from the side. There is a little bit of a wobble, but you can easily stop that by just putting a polystyrene block just down the side. So I hope you like this video. Um, please subscribe, like, and I will see you on the next one.